Question 2. A flag is hosted on top of a building. From a point on the ground, 25 meter from the base of a building, the angle of elevation of the building is 45 degrees and angle of elevation of top of the flag is 60 degrees. Determine the height of the flag. Now, in this set of videos, what we're trying to understand is what is angle of elevation, what is angle of depression, and how can special triangles help us solve problems without calculator, okay? Well, all these problems could be easily solved using calculators and by using these complicated angles also. Now, let's see uh, how to solve them without calculator, okay? Now, what is angle of elevation? Angle of elevation is what you make with the horizontal looking upwards. And angle of depression is you make with the horizontal looking downwards. So that is kind of angle of elevation and depression. And I think with this set of videos, you will understand fairly well what do we understand by saying angle of elevation and angle of depression. Now, the other thing is application of special triangles. So you have seen special triangles of 45 degrees and 60 degrees. For all these problems, it's a good idea to draw the special triangles. So let's make one with 45 degrees right here. Now, with 45 degrees special triangle, we know if these sides are one, then this side is square root two, correct? And that is our 45 degrees, and this is the right angle. Now, the other triangle which we are always interested in is 60 degrees and 30 degrees. So let's draw that triangle also. Let's say this is our triangle which is 60 and 30 degrees and 90 degrees triangle. So this side is 60 degrees. So I'm just writing 60 for the time being because here we will use 60, correct? And the two sides for us will be 1, 2 and square root 3. You got to know all this, correct? How do we draw them? Well, 45 degrees you see the two sides have to be equal, so let them be 1 and 1, and this will be 1 square plus 1 square square root 2, right? That's your answer. Now, this comes from an equilateral triangle. Think about a triangle which is all three equal sides. That means all angles are also equal. All angles equal means 60 degrees each, so you get 60 degrees. Let the sides be 2, then half of side will be 1, and half of the angle will be 30 degrees and therefore this is our 30 60 90 degrees triangle okay now let's get back to the problem now the question here is a flag is hosted on top of a building so well so let's say let's say we make a ground here right and uh, let's call this to be a building right let's say this is a building let's say this is a building right and on top of the building we have a flag let's say just at the edge we have this flag here on the top of the building the question says that from a point on a ground 25 meter from the base of the building that means somewhere here which is 25 meters from the base of the building angle of elevation of the building is 45 and angle of elevation of the top of the flag is 60 that means if I draw join this kind of here this angle is 45 but if I join the top of the flag with this that means kind of like this then that angle is 60 degrees so the question says well this angle is 45 correct and the angle which is the bigger one which is from here to here is 60 degrees that is the question and now you have to find the height of the flag so we have to find this height that means difference of total height to difference of building height. That's what it is. And what else we are given? We are given that from a point on the ground, 25 meter from the base. That means this point, let's say this point is P, is, let's say this base is B, and the distance between them is 25. And that is the flag F, and let me call this as T, top of the building. Correct. Now, so what is BT? BT is the height of the building. So let's say BT, the height of the building,
let's say that is BT for us, right? So BT we need to find. How can we find BT? We know this is 25. So we can use tan. Tan of 45 will relate BT with PB, right? That becomes opposite side. This is adjacent and that is 90 degrees. Got it? That's right. So tan of 45 can relate height of the building to the distance from the building. Got it? So that is how we are going to find BT. So let's do this. We say tan of 45 degrees is equals to BT divided by 25 which is the distance and therefore and what is tan of 45 so we'll use a special triangle tan of 45 is opposite over adjacent that is 1 over 1 and that is 1 so we have 1 equals to bt over 25 and therefore we know what is bt bt is 25 so you say well bt is 25 since this triangle is 45 degrees this is also 45 these two sides should be equal so this is 25 and bt is also 25 so that is from logic. This is from our special triangle. So we get BT equals to 25. So we got BT. How about FB, the height, total height of the flag from the ground? Now to find FB, we can again use tan opposite and adjacent. Well, let's use tan again. In that case, what do we get? We say, well, tan of the angle this time is 60 degrees, right? So we say tan of 60 degrees is equals to FB flag from the base to distance from the base, which is 25, correct? So what is FB equals to? FB is tan 60 times 25. But tan 60 is how much? Tan 60 is square root 3 over 1, opposite over adjacent, correct? From our special triangle. So we'll write tan 60 as square root 3 over 1, which is square root 3, right? So we have square root 3 equals to FB divided by 25. And therefore, FB, the height of the flag, is 25 times square root 3. So that is how we get FB. Now, but we need what? Height of the flag, right? So height of the flag is from the ground 25 square root 3, correct? Now, if you want, this is actually the height of the flag, which is FB minus TB, right? FB minus TB is actually your height of the flag, right? We are not asking how high the flag is from the ground. We are only asking for this. Well, it could be either way, but let's make it very clear now. If we say that height of the flag or the top of the flag from the base or from the ground, then that is 25 square root 3. But we say determine the height of the flag then or how long the flag is. In that case, we will do FB minus TB. And that is 25 square root 3 minus 25. And that is your answer, correct? If you have to give your answer in decimal places, you can use your calculator and then calculate this answer. Otherwise, you can also write this as 25 into square root 3 minus 1 and the units are meters right so we say so many meters correct so we can actually use calculator and find the answer the answer is square root 3 which is minus 1 times 25 and in decimals we get 18.3 and that is 18.3 meters so that is the height of the flag and well how high the flag is from the ground the answer will be 25 square root of 3 correct so these are the answers for this question thank you